English for teachers. Bill Gates, what he said. Technology is just a tool in terms of getting the kids to work together and motivating them. The teacher is the most important. In the classroom, you are not just learning facts. You are building the foundation of your future. Each lesson is a brick and your education is a grand structure that will stand the test of time. Dare to dream, dare to learn, and dare to become the person you envision. Education is the passport to your aspirations, and every lesson is a stamp that takes you closer to your destination. Success is not just about the destination, it's about the journey of growth and learning. Let your education be the wind beneath your wings as you soar to new heights. How interesting. The quotes are right. Right. Yeah. Lamia, uh, what is the scientific way, or you can say the most successful way to learn or to master vocabulary? Well, I think you would agree, sir. To learn vocabulary, you must learn them in phrases and not just in decontextualized uh, form. Yeah, that, that's true. Very true. But in most of the books of our country, so-called popular books, they just listed English words and Bangla meaning. Right. No context is there. Just word and Bangla meaning. How unfortunate. Yeah, this will never work. And uh, for that, actually the learners are suffering. And we have listed here the collocation system. For example, you see... We use go with how we can make thousands of sentences just by this half of the page. Page number 266. Right. Now you see go and there is no preposition. So we say go home. And you will repeat the next one. Go downtown. Go abroad. Go north. Go south. Go straight on. The show that Right. right. Go straight on. Go left. Go right. So you cannot say go to left, right? Just go left. Yeah, most people would think otherwise. Say, yeah, yeah, very true. And uh, yeah, then go crazy? Sure, go up. <laughs> go down. Go shopping. Go running. Go skiing. Go dancing. Go fishing. And go swimming. Now, Lamia, let's make... Uh, some sentences with this go, the first column, right? Now let's put let's, just let's. If you use let's and then go home, you'll see there are many sentences will be there. Like, let's go home. Let's go downtown. Let's go abroad. Let's go north. Let's go no uh, south. Let's go straight on. Let's go left. Let's go right. Let's go crazy. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go up. Let's go down. Let's go shopping. Let's go running. Let's go skiing. Let's go dancing. Let's go fishing. Let's go swimming. So, let's find, right? Right. Then, we can make sentences like this way. Why don't we? Uh, can you make some sentences? Sure, sir. Why don't we go home? Mm -hmm. Why don't we go downtown? Why don't we go abroad? Why don't we go north? Why don't we go south? So, this way you can make sentences and beautiful sentences. Wow, so many sentences with just go. And contextualized ones. Right. Now, how about? Okay. How about? Okay. Then you need to add ing with go, actually. So, this will be, how about going home? Right? Right. Then those beautiful sentences, Bari gale kamon hoi. Shundar English. Atwa bidesh gale kamon hoi. So, how about going home? How about going downtown? How about going abroad? How about going north? How about going south? How about going straight on? So you can make a lot of sentences like this. Uh, let's try in some other ways. Please go. Just put please before go and there will be a lot of sentences. 
Let's start. Sure. Please go home. Please go downtown. Please go abroad. Please go north. Please go south. Please go straight on. Please go left. You see, the very practical sentences. Hmm? Now we can forbid some people. Don't go. Let's start. Don't go home. Don't go downtown. Don't go abroad. Don't go north. Don't go south. Don't go straight on. Don't go left. Don't go right. Don't go crazy. Don't go up. Don't go down. Don't go shopping. Okay. Don't go running. <laughs> Don't go skiing. Don't go dancing. Don't go fishing. Don't go swimming. What is your comment about this? You see, people say, I can't make sentences. You see? How beautiful you can make thousands of sentences. Yeah, no hmm? kidding. Okay, that's fine. Now, let's go to the second column. And that is, go to. Go to school. Go to work. Go to college. Go to university. Go to prison. Go to jail. Go to London. Go to England. Go to Europe. Go to Asia. Go to Mars. Go to dinner. Mm -hmm. Now go to a. Go to a party. Go to a concert. Go to a gig. Go to a conference. Go to a meeting. Go on a holiday. Now it's go on. So I went on a holiday, right? Right. Okay, go on holiday. Let's, uh, let, we need a break. Yeah. Go on a trip. Go on a cruise. Go on an, an adventure. Go on a safari. Now go to the... Go to the park. Go to the cinema. Go to the bank. Go to the supermarket. Well, you see, there, there is a the uh, before all the nouns, park, cinema, bank. Usually, so the is used here. You don't need to know the reason, you just see, because, yeah, there are reasons, because the park you are going is a specific one. Right. So that's why you're using the. And people may say, go, let's go to a party. Go to a party, that's not a specific one. It means any party. Yes. But if the party is fixed, you shouldn't say, go to a, let's go to a party, rather let's go to a the party. Right. The because, first one won't be right. Yeah, because I know whose party it is. Now, let's go to supermarket. Go to the airport. Go to lake. Go to the lake. Go to the beach. So, if you pronounce it bitch, that would be disastrous meaning. Very inappropriate. Yeah. So, bitch and beach. Go to the mountains. Go to specialist. Go to the honey. Sorry, go, go to the specialist. Go to the doctors. Go to the dentists. Go to the moon. And the last one is go for. Go for. Go for a run. Go for a walk. Go for a jog. Go for a hike. Go for a swim. Go for a drive. Go for a ride. Go for a nap. Go for a rest. Go for a meal. Go for a coffee. Go for a drink. Mm -hmm. So, uh... Could you, could you say a few words how beautiful this lesson is? I just can't imagine how students won't be able to make sentences if they go through this particular yeah. lesson. True. Uh, right? I feel empowered already. Yeah. And, and the sentences will be really, really nice sentences. Or you can say standard English sentences. Anyone with even the slightest weakness will strengthen their... All, Contextual oh, vocabulary yes. and sentence making. That's what we can say. It's, it's a sentence making machine. Right? It we is. We just produce a lot of sentences. Now, we are going to record love collocations. How lovely. <laughs> okay. So, uh, if I ask you how many words do you know about love? There are a lot of words uh, we, we can learn. For example, all consuming all-consuming love, burning love, deep love, great love, immense love, intense love, overwhelming love, passionate love, profound love, and I've got some other uh, expressions I didn't include here. The first love, last love, lost love, newfound love, puppy love, sisterly love, brotherly love, motherly love, parental love, paternal love, maternal love. Okay? Then godly love. So, 
there are so many love related collocations now how you can make sentences like just take she has and you can uh, make a lot of sentences from this here well she has all consuming love for me so you can you can make sentences as the first one and all words in the middle and just love for me let me show you one she has all consuming love for me let she me has she has burning love for me she has deep love for me she has great love for me she has immense love for me she has intense love for me she has overwhelming love for me she has passionate love for me she has profound love for me now can you pronounce i mean you can make sentences with i have take all the words from the middle and love for her sure let me give it a try and i would like the audience to try as well you can they can repeat after you yeah repeat after me if you want to try i have burning love for her i have deep love for her i have great love for her i have immense love for her i have intense love for her i have overwhelming love for her i have passionate love for her i have profound love for her you see and then mom has all consuming love for it mom has burning love for it mom has deep love for it mom has great love for it mom has immense love for it mom has intense love for it mom has overwhelming love for it mom mom has passionate love for it and mom has profound love for it so you can you can speed up actually now can you try with the man has sure the man has all consuming love for it the man has burning love for it the man has deep love for it the man has great love for it the man has immense love for it the man has intense love for it the man has overwhelming love for it the man has passionate love for it and the man has profound love for it yeah and uh, just uh, this way you can practice and let's not extend anymore and yeah that's it so dear listeners the readers of english for teachers book you see the sentence making machine how beautiful you can make a lot of sentences at a time and these are very standard english sentences i should say so don't go for grammar rather you can follow this tricks to make sentences with right pronunciation okay thank you for listening bye bye take care